the Joomla advocates and uh, youth empowerment and skills acquisition advocate in Africa, to be specific, in Nigeria. And uh, what I do is to promote Joomla specifically among students and youths so that they can uh, empower themselves and be self-employed because Joomla has that uh, feature, has that strength that uh, youths can use uh, to be self-reliant. And if you want to catch me on Twitter, the address is there, Facebook, email, and also my personal web page. Now, the youths and unemployment. We all know that the youths are the pillars of uh, every government, every company, uh, country. Uh, they play a very significant role in the development of any government. And as such, we must ensure that the unemployment is reduced because practically we can say we will eradicate unemployment, but there's a way we can actually reduce it. And looking at uh, Africa, according to international labor organization, from their research, they find out that 12.4% of youth in Africa are unemployed. How do we address this? And this is why Joomla comes to play among other tools or other softwares that can actually reduce unemployment. And globally, according to their research again, it's slightly higher than the African percentage of unemployment. And according to ILO, 13.1% of youths are unemployed. So we need to address this. And we can't leave this only to the government. Because we know that the government play a significant role to tackle unemployment, to create jobs, to ensure that youths are engaged, they have something to do. Because when youths are engaged and have something to do, we can virtually reduce violence, we can reduce crime, we can reduce all sorts of things that will not add value to the lives of the youths particularly. But even as the government plays a significant role to tackle unemployment, they cannot provide jobs for everybody. There's no way the government can provide jobs for everybody. This is the reality. Government can facilitate job creation. They can support youth empowerment. They can sponsor programs that can empower youths, but they cannot provide 100% jobs for everybody. So we need to play a significant role. And that is why Joomla comes to play, because this is a Joomla conference. And I feel and I'm one of the beneficiary of Joomla in terms of upscaling my skills, in terms of uh, uh, empowerment, I feel Joomla can actually help the government you know, to, 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 to enhance the skills that the youth needs. We can also look at it that the community also plays a fantastically significant role in terms of bringing together people and also ensuring that people learn this Joomla and get themselves busy, having livelihood, survival, providing for their families, and so on. Communities. When we know that Joomla is all about community, everybody here in this conference comes from different parts of the world. And what keeps Joomla moving is the commitment that the community has. And we can individually inculcate this kind of habits in our own local communities. Like I'm from Nigeria, but I'm based in Malaysia. Anytime I go back to Nigeria, I make sure that my local communities benefit from the Joomla knowledge that I have. And this is how we can bring the community together. And this is one of the goal of Joomla, to bring people together, irrespective of your religion, irrespective of your region, your continent, and so on. So community plays an important role. And with this, we can extend assistance to each other. 
So we meet in Joomla Days event, we meet in uh, Joomla conferences, GM Beyond, and so many other things. I have a problem. I can talk to you and say, can you help me? We can even go beyond Joomla itself and talk personal issues. Because of what? The community brings us together and we can share from different aspects of life. We can teach each other. We can also share knowledge, which is basically what I do every day. I change life positively. I teach people. But importantly, I believe in skills. And Joomla is something that gives people skills. This is not theory. You need to know it. Just as the speaker was saying yesterday is, when you want to do this Joomla certification, it's not just about getting certified. It's about knowing what Joomla is. And you can't, of course, go outside and say, I'm a Joomla developer, I'm a this. But you can actually deliver what the customer wants. You need to equip yourself technically. And that is important. So we can share knowledge. We can also teach people. Now, how can people get involved in this Joomla? How can they participate? Now I'm talking about the local community because we all will go back. Today is the last day for the conference, 2017 JAP. We all go back to our local communities. And how can we get them involved in Joomla? There are so many other ways we can do that. We can attend, we can create uh, uh, an event, we can raise funds for the homeless, we can you know, uh, create some events. We can create Joomla user groups. I mean, this is one platform that people use is officially is on the Joomla uh, website. We can create Joomla user groups. We can have these meetups maybe once in every month, once in every six months, once in, uh, you know, frequent meetup is always important and always better. We can also uh, attend conferences. So I'm far away from uh, Poland, but I come here to attend this conference because it brings us together. I'm trying to get some knowledge. And of course, I've gained so many other knowledge for this three days event. Now what do I do? I get back to my local communities and I try to transfer the knowledge, the experience to the communities so they can benefit. Most importantly, when I get to the class, I will share with my students what I've learned, the experience, the people, the speakers, and what Joomla has to offer. So we, with this, we can actually bring people together so that they can participate in Joomla. And it is not all about participation only, because we need to teach them how to use Joomla and how to make a living with Joomla. I use Joomla, but that is not my primary source of income. But at least I get some more income when I train people, when I uh, build website for people, I get extra income. So this is how we can survive. But I don't want to keep that to myself alone. That is why we need to share the knowledge among communities, local communities. Let them benefit. Okay? With that, we can continue to spread the Joomla knowledge. Now, so many people ask me, I don't have money, I want to attend your Joomla conference, but well, my own passion is to teach people. And I always say, money should not be the obstacle for you to learn Joomla. I know there are a lot of developers, uh, trainers who uh, charge money for their training and all that, but we can do little by giving back to the society and putting aside money. When we don't talk about money and say, okay, you don't have money, come, I'll teach you. We teach one person, he does the same process to another person, and this is how we continue to grow. You're doing two things. You're transferring your knowledge, and at the same time, you are helping people grow. You are helping Joomla grow. And with this, people will know Joomla, people will use Joomla, and before we know it, we will even conquer all these other CMSs. But the main important thing here is, we should not make money to be the basis of we teaching people how to use Joomla. We can, we can, we can we, of course, everybody wants money because you invest your time, you invest some resources, but that should not be the, the basis.
Okay. For me, I have different ways of uh, bringing people together. I've been teaching people. I have been touching lives. But how do I do that? There are several ways I bring people together as a community. And I always talk about Joomla. So many people, I, I remember in Malaysia, there are, uh, one of the high commissioner to, to Malaysia was like, what is Joomla? Because Joomla in my local language is total. It's total. So it, it became something that everybody started calling me Joomla, 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 Joomla. So I was like, oh, this is this is something that I branded myself as Joomla, but I always tell them I didn't create Joomla. I'm just a contributor to Joomla community to the best I can. So Joomla is, some, is so powerful that it can unite people. As we can see today, I'm from Africa. He's from Africa. He's from Africa. So I'm not sure where, but I know you're maybe Europe. And we have different people from part of the world. We are one. Whenever we come to Joomla events, we forget where we come from. We are just Joomlas. And that is what makes us stronger. From the keynote speech from Alexandra, he said the dragon actually wanted to the, uh, destroy the city and so many other things. And uh, the key message is for us to unite and fight the dragon. So when we unite and we bring the, the word Joomla and we preach Joomla and we eat Joomla, we do everything about Joomla, we become stronger and we learn more and we become uh, a powerful uh, community and society. Now, these are some of the ways I, I spread the word Joomla and I touch people's lives and I try to integrate them into uh, learning Joomla. Training, I train people, most especially students because I'm more closer to the students. So I try to encourage them to learn Joomla. And when you look at it, there are various aspects that you can use to learn Joomla. Easily you can get Joomla because when you compare the traditional method of web development, like writing HTML code and CSS, trying to bring them together, it discourages a lot of students. It discourages a lot of people. But the community, the wonderful Joomla community, have come up with something so easy but powerful that can build a website of almost every kind of website in minutes. So when you teach people and tell them that this is the advantage you get when you learn Joomla, they pick an interest and they want to come to your events next time. They want to know more. They want to know more. And also another thing is motivation. Many students need motivation, actually. Even if something is good, you will need to motivate them to do better stuff. So I always motivate my students and I always motivate people that you can do it. I'm not saying you should learn only Joomla. There are various tools. There are various things that you can learn that can keep you going. Okay. There are things, let's say, for example, photography. You can learn how to capture spectacular photographs and then sell it online. You make money, but it is your creativity. How you make that become sellable is your own way. But we need to encourage people to engage in skills acquisition so they can be self-reliant. So we don't need to finish our colleges, and we finish university, you even have good grades, but you have to follow people and say, I need a job, I need a job, I need a job. But when you equip yourself with the skills, especially the Joomla skills, you can build a website for people. And uh, also the advantage of having this Joomla skills is basically for you uh, uh, let's say, for example, if you're a medical doctor and a lawyer, whatever profession you are, it doesn't matter. You can still have a little knowledge of Joomla and have your page set up. Or even if you outsource your website development, you can basically have small knowledge about Joomla to update your pages, add images, and so on. So it helps, irrespective of your background, your career, or whatever you are. So uh, on the left side, uh, on the left side is a picture of me in one of the Nigerian states and conducting uh, uh, Joomla training. And you can see there are a lot of students, students, there are government representatives there, and there are business people, 
who only have the passion to learn Joomla, there were a lot of questions. What are the advantages? And I say, this is Nigeria, where Joomla is just coming up. We need to spread the word Joomla. And not only spreading the word, we need to let people know the importance and how Joomla can help their businesses and themselves. So they were so passionate, they were so keen to learn. So we organized this training and it went for two days and it was successful. Now, for me, my target is in every training to have at least 20% to really learn it. You don't need to go 100%. You need 20% to learn Joomla. With that 20%, and it will go and go and go and go on. There are few students who uh, give me some feedback and say, now I am building my uh, website for my business and also trying to teach people. But I always say, keep moving. Keep moving. Share the knowledge. Don't keep it to yourself. Okay. And the other side is in Malaysia at the university where the final year students, I was invited to teach them how to uh, use Joomla. And fortunately for me and happily for Joomla, the community, most of them use Joomla for their final year degree projects, which is good. Now we can imagine how marketable they can be having the skills immediately graduating from university now we have universities we have colleges that teaches theory strictly theory you get the slides you have everything theoretically but the practical is not there so when you teach student practical aspect of web development and you know you tell them that they can finish on time and it's very very responsive and all that they are feel happy they ask me you mean I can build a powerful website with Joomla? I said, yes, of course. You can. You can. Then they asked me, what is Joomla? What is WordPress? They are all CMS. But I will ask you, if you want something more powerful, go for Joomla. If you want to just write some blogs, some stories, go for WordPress. Because of the extensibility Joomla offers and the community and the support. So they are going for Joomla, and I'm happy that most of them actually use it for their project, which is good. And that reminds me, I was actually introduced to Joomla by a friend from Sri Lanka. We attended the same college, and uh, we wanted to, uh, I wanted to do my final year project, and I was thinking, what should I do? Then he said, go check it out, Joomla. He just gave me the URL. Before then, I asked him, Joomla in my language is total. Yeah, just go and check. So I went back home, I started checking, I started investigating. And then I found out that this is something that I can really use for my final year project. So I started learning Joomla in 2009. It was really the hardest way I learned Joomla. Sleepless nights, you know, trying errors and so on. And there wasn't so much of tutorials, even if there were tutorials at that time, there was no time for you to ask questions when you're learning. So this also uh, motivated me after learning Joomla to write some, uh, you know, step-by-step -step books for people to learn how to use Joomla in a simplified way. But that's by the way. So I learned Joomla, I used it for my project, and I got an A for that project because I use it to build a social networking site for the school, for the college, so that students can actually communicate with each other. This is good, and it's a good step. So I introduced Joomla to that college, and until today, some students still prefer to use Joomla for their final year project. So this is some of the ways we can actually spread Joomla. In the education system, we can actually use this concept to make students use Joomla for their final year project. When they use that for their final year project, they learn it. Once they learn it, they graduate. It's almost ready for the job market. That is, you want to get some experience, but of course he can be, or she can be a, a freelance web creator. So it's all left for them for, to go deeper if they want to. So these are some of the ways that I bring people together using Joomla. Okay. And these are some students that came for master's program in Malaysia and they said, okay, they want to learn Joomla. They are on a scholarship to Malaysia for MSc 
and I said, hey, you guys are Nigerians, you're going back after one year, why not learn Joomla and go and spread the word Joomla in Nigeria more? So they bought the idea and they started uh, the process. I trained them. Most of them are using Joomla today. Some of them are, are working in the government uh, agencies in, in Nigeria. And there's no way they can forget about Joomla. Of course they will talk about Joomla even within the government uh, agencies. And with that, government can start you know, recognizing Joomla and, and so on. Again, this is me training uh, the university student and, uh, of course, some student here. Uh, now, you see, in Africa, we, in Africa, we have this technology, uh, I wouldn't say backwardness because we are coming up. The youths, most especially, are very powerful. They are powerful voices in Africa. But we need to get them up the streets. We need to do something. And earlier I have said, government cannot do it alone. We need to empower them. With the little contribution that we can do, let's empower them. And I personally feel, because this is, Joomla is something that I know, and I like sharing, I personally feel that we can use Joomla to take these guys off the street. The image speaks a lot of, it, it, it tells us a lot, you know. So we can actually do more for the youth, especially in Africa. And uh, we hope that the government also will take this as a, uh, as a way of uh, improving the lives of the youth. I myself am a youth and I'm being empowered with Joomla and I feel that I should be given back to the society. That's why whenever I go back to Nigeria, I train people. So the, pro, the, the question now is, is Joomla really the game changer? Is Joomla really the game changer? Having seen the progress from 2005 until today, uh, has Joomla changed many lives? Has Joomla done more good than I have? That is the question we need to ask. But personally, I have an answer. And the answer is yes. Joomla has done wonderful well and has changed so many lives, including mine. Because what? I was able to share knowledge and the knowledge has gone so far beyond my imagination. We all can do the same. We can continue to share the knowledge. We can't continue to make money to be the first priority for us to teach people. We can give back to the society for free. We can change lives with Joomla. We really can do that. And that is why I say it is the game changer. When we learn Joomla, when we transfer the knowledge, it changes people's life. They go up the streets. So yes, Joomla is, the, is really the game changer. And this kid, even is a year and five months old, he was there to support Joomla. He was there to, uh, 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 I mean, he was at the event of uh, Joomla book launch. And I feel these are the next generation that we can pass the knowledge to. And they can take it from there. When we have this knowledge transferred to the next generation, then we can be expecting that Joomla will conquer the world in the nearest future. So with that, we definitely cannot stop now. We continue to share knowledge. We continue to share Joomla. We continue to share the skills that we have, but not limited to Joomla skills photography, uh, editing, what have you? Give back to the society. This is important. This is important. We need to continue to share knowledge and build next generation within our local communities or anywhere we find ourselves. We may be in Poland today and tomorrow get transferred to Germany. Wherever we go to any community, we are part of that community. Give something back and you will leave a legacy. When you go to Algeria, 
give something back and you give, leave a legacy in Nigeria, in Uganda, in Kenya, and this is how we can continue to, to share knowledge. So here's a community. Joomla is nothing but a community. Joomla is nothing but love. We all can see how people are happy. We meet people, we mingle, we network, and we help people, each other, at the conference. And we can stay stronger when we are as a community. Um, I would like to say thank you for being here and also to taking your time to uh, listen to what I have to say as proving myself that Joomla is really the game changer and we must accept that. But one important thing that, that I want to stress here is let us not make money the basis for us to share this Joomla knowledge. Money should not be the first, but our local immediate communities and societies should be the first priority and with this we can actually make people smile, we can actually make lives better for the youth especially, and we can help our government. Thank you very much.